Uncle Matty and welcome to another thrilling instalment of Uncle Matty's Toy Reviews. Today, this, from Unbox Industries, I've got a full unopened case of Who Goes There Mystery Bag Blind Box Surprise Toy Bags. So, uh, there's 12 to collect, I've got a full box of 12, let's hope I get them all. Without any further ado, come on, let's go and open these toys. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, nearly forgot my coffee. <laughs> the finest coffee. So here we are with the full box of 12 Wave 1 Who Goes There Blind Box Toys from Unbox Industries. If you haven't heard of them, get a life. It's an ensemble project that's uh, between Unbox Industries and a number of artists, including David Arshowski, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Retroband, The Last Zektron, and Vilesaw. So a number of sort of unique, gross artists have made uh, some little sort of mini Sofubi toys, and you don't really know which one you're getting. If you're under 15 and you're watching this, get the heck out of here. These aren't for you. Not allowed these. Sorry, kid. Anyway, sorry about my bad language back there, saying heck and all as well. I shouldn't... I should know better. If you're wondering why I'm wearing gloves, it's not because I'm a creepy weirdo. Well, not just because of that. My thinking is I'm going to wear these so that in the future, if people are able to somehow clone me back to life from my fingerprints in the video then hopefully this will prevent that I'm gonna move this box off to the side while I uh, open them one at a time now I am gonna open the boxes very carefully to preserve the collector's value and I have this special containment unit off to the side here with which I'm gonna store these uh, highly collectible packages got to open it very carefully to preserve the collector's value. There we are. Yeah, it's open. Oh, good. Can reuse these bags. Good bags. Oh, some of them. Oh, yeah. I did wonder why they was producing the strange rattle. Cool. Well, I'm assuming this is uh, David Arshowski's, one of his ones. That's pretty nifty. It's like a Giant boat head face guy with a volcano on his head. A whale on his forehead. He's having a whale of a time. And an octopus. Boat eye. Oh, and look, one of those heads. Pretty strange, quite nifty. I like that one. And check it. Five unbox industry tokens. Can't wait to spend those. Blink, blink, blink. Just having a bit of fun there. Apparently there's a couple of chase variants. This is is the wave one of figures, but it's the second release. This is going to be sort of, they're all going to be a green and red marbled vinyl. I'm not sure what the first colours were. Whoa! Mint. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy. Not 100% I'll put on the video who's made them. I'm not sure what this guy is, some kind of devilly slug with toys in his hands and a VR on. And someone's opened the floodgate on his butt by the look of things. I'm not sure what that is coming out of a tube on his butt. But pretty gross. I think anyone could agree. Got ourselves another token. Ugh. Cool. A little melty toxic dude. This is by Vilesaur, I believe. I'm into my toxic melting men. And this is, uh, is a real nice one. I like that marbling effect. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Holy moly. 10 tokens. I'm going to be pretty rich after this. Oh, nice. A little grave digging guy with a gun. Oh. 
Don't want this guy coming for you. I think this is by the last Zectron. If my memory serves me correctly. That's a nice sculpt. Sounds like I got myself another token. Whoa, yes! That's the retro band one. Articulated head. I'm not sure I've seen this head. I thought it was more of a sort of a skull head type thing. But hey, it's cool. Ugh. Nice maggots. Yeah, that's a good one. Gotta pick up the pace here because uh, it's taking a bit long. How many tokens? Come on, baby. Ugh. It's another one from Vilesaw. And another melting bloke. Whoa, wait. It's a freaky spider guy. Ooh, I like that. It reminds me of the Kumon spider, or I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. Cool. It's another last Zectron one. I'm not quite sure what this guy is. Seems like if Sonic the Hedgehog was in Golden Axe. Some kind of Japanese mask. Cool. If you're thinking I lost my enthusiasm from the beginning of the video, by the way, I uh, had a bit of a break between having that coffee and then filming this part. I had to go do a couple of things. So. Coffee wore off. I'm needing another one. Should have had another one before the video. Oh! It's another last Sectron one. It's a young lady who's uh, cheered herself up by giving herself a nice... I forget what you call them. Something smile. But that's cool. Nice, so I've got a full set of uh, the last Zectron. That's good then. And whoa! Ten whole points! It's nice that they seem to have not given me any doubles in the box. At least thus far. Hopefully, I haven't just cursed myself saying that about the doubles. Ugh! A blue one! And a double. <laughs> I'm guessing that's one of the chases. In uh, kind of a purpley blue. I was kind of hoping it would have been glow in the dark or glitter. But uh, I guess uh, purple's pretty cool. Anyway, onwards. Ugh! Cool! That one is cool. That's a double, but I'm all right with that. It looks like he's uh, an egg splat on his head. That is a good one. Splat. So I've got two doubles so far. They're the ch that my chases were doubles. Whoa! Yeah, he's nifty. This is one of the best sculpts in the series, I would say. It's a giant head, car, with flames coming off the back, and a few what look like ants going for a ride on the back of his head. Quite large ants. So it looks like I've got a full set of the David Ashowski ones. I think that's all the last Sectron ones. As far as I know, there's only one retro band one. And the uh, vial saw. There's one I still need. And I got one box left. Alright, last one. Alright. I got the last vial saw that I needed. Little weird monkey dude guy. But yeah, he looks pretty prehistoric. Kind of lumpy. Cool! So there they are. The full set. 
So here's my set of last Zektron figures. So this guy's probably my favourite of the bunch. These two, not so much red marbling, but that's all right. These things happen with the marbled vinyl. Here's my retro band one with articulated head. It's the only articulation on the figures, I believe, out of any of them. Here's a good one. Here's my vinyl saw set, and of course the chase. Raw egg looking blobby guy. Ooh, he's really cool. He's probably my favourite one of the whole box, I would say. And then these three by David Ashowski. Do apologise if I'm getting that wrong. And the Chase variant. These lot are pretty cool. This guy's uh, he's, he's got some real skill. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Get these stupid things off. Uh, some of my favourites. Old old eggnog over here. Johnny Wheelface. Old virtual Raymond and uh, the mummy. Got it a bit wrong earlier when I said there was 12 figures. There are in fact 10, so it's good. I've got them all. And it was actually quite good that uh, the two doubles were different colors. So I haven't got any doubles really. Uh, this one, the marbled one, mwah, I'll be staying as it is. But this plain blue one, that'll actually be pretty good for painting. So uh, I'm after that too. All right, guys. I gotta go get myself another coffee. And I don't know what you are doing, but you got to get the heck out of here. Until next time. I'll see you next time at Uncle Matty's Toy Reviews. Starring me, Uncle Matty. Bang, let's go, toys. And if anyone knows what to do with these things, then, uh, Please do drop it down in the comments because uh, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them. If you've liked today's video, don't forget, why not give it a little like? Do you like it? Or you could always subscribe. Press that subscribe button. You'll never miss any of this kind of action. And what fantastic action it's been. No one can deny that. Good night. <laughs>